narrow crack in the wall, you hear something shift against stone. The pulse of a crawling, living thing. of tieflings on the road and slaughtered him. Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me and here you are. Carlack, isn't it? a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Nothing would surprise me. Maybe she wants to live up to her name and wrap a cord around my neck. Or maybe she just wants to say hello. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. 
But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Infernal currency. Each one is inscribed with a soul. Usually an evil soul, but not always. I'll explain later. Away from prying ears. But trust me, you'll be into it. way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your flow did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. You want the coins or not? First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother, and a violent father, and three evil brothers, all named Balder. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. Listen has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongir. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand. <laughs>